Good morning, fourth and fifth graders. This week for writing, we're going to be working on who would win. Again, last time we worked on dinosaurs, this time we're going to be working on sharks. So we are going to read a book called Who Would Win? Hammerhead versus Bull Shark. Who would win? Hammerhead versus Bull Shark by Jerry Pelota, illustrated by Rob Bolster. What would happen if a hammerhead shark came face to face with a bull shark? What if they were both the same size? What if they were both hungry? If they had a fight, who do you think would win? Great hammerhead shark. Its head has a strange shape. A mako shark is the fastest swimming shark. Remember this, fish have gills, not lungs. A mega mouth shark. A recently discovered deep water shark with a huge mouth. A bull shark. This shark has attacked more people than any other shark. Whale shark, the largest fish in the world. Look at how long that one is compared to the other ones. Great white shark. The famous movie star needs no introduction. Tiger shark. The garbage can of the sea. It eats almost everything. Fact. Sharks are saltwater fish, which means you can find them in the ocean. Scientific name of the great hammerhead. Meet the great hammerhead. It can grow to be 20 feet long and can weigh 1,000 pounds. Hammerhead sharks are easy to identify because they have a head shaped like a hammer. Fun fact. Scientists call hammerhead sharks Call the hammer shape head a cephalofoil. Did you know the largest hammerheads have a head that is three feet wide, eyeball to eyeball? That's really long. Hammerheads look scary, but they hardly ever attack humans. Scientific name of a bull shark. Meet the bull shark. It got its name from its stocky shape and unpredictable behavior. It is an aggressive shark that lives in shallow water, preferring water less than 100 feet deep. Female bull sharks grow to be 12 feet long and weigh 500 pounds. Interesting fact, great white sharks often get blamed for bull shark attacks. Did you know, because they live in shallow waters, bull sharks are more dangerous to people than great white sharks or tiger sharks, sharks which prefer deeper waters. So they are more dangerous to people because they like swimming in shallow water. There's a big group of hammerhead sharks. Hammerheads hunt by themselves at night. During the day, they migrate in huge schools. Bull sharks prefer to be alone. Bonus fact, despite their solitary nature, bull sharks sometimes hunt in twos. Shark trivia, the bull shark has many names. So many names. Look at all those. Types of hammerheads. Fun fact. The funny shaped head allows them to have more sensors. Hammerheads can smell better and sense fish better than other sharks. There's a bonhead, great, scalloped, and smooth. Did you know some other hammerhead species are the scoophead, golden hammerhead, white fin hammerhead, winghead shark, and scalloped bonehead? So there's lots of different types of hammerhead sharks. Bull shark travels. Bull sharks swim in shallow coastal waters. They often swim into estuaries and up freshwater rivers. So sometimes they don't need salt water. They can swim all the way up where that lake is showing right here. That's how far north they have been in the United States, which is really close to us. Wisconsin is right here. A bull shark was found 1,000 miles up the Mississippi River. A bull shark was caught 3,000 miles up the Amazon River. All the way over here, so they swam all the way there. Using DNA testing sharks in Lake Nicaragua, South America, and sharks in the Zim Zambezi River, Africa, have been identified as bull sharks. So these sharks sometimes live in the river. If you were scuba diving and a hammerhead swam at you, this is what it would look like. Interesting fact. Hammerheads have swum 
the Earth's oceans for more than 20 million years. Did you know that the location of Hammerhead's eyes allows them to see above, below, and all around? If you were skin diving and a bull shark swam right at you, this is what you would see. Yikes. Fun fact. Bull shark heads are wider than they are long. Did you know that bull sharks are known for bumping their prey first? After they bump, they decide if they want to bite. I wonder why they do that. Here's the, all the different types, types of shark tooths. So here's what a hammerhead tooth looks like. Compared to other sharks, hammerheads have small mouths, but hammerheads, like all sharks, have very scary looking teeth. There's lots of other types of shark teeth. And here is what a bull shark tooth looks like. The bull shark has pointy bottom teeth and triangular top teeth. Its mouth is like a knife and fork. The top teeth hold the fish it catches and the top jaw goes back and forth and cuts like a saw. And there's some other shark teeth as well. There's the anatomy. So the body parts of a hammerhead shark. And that's what a hammerhead shark would look like compared to the size of a human. Here's the anatomy of a bull shark. Same thing. Here are the two different sizes compared between the people and the sharks. It looks like a hammerhead shark is going to be a little bit bigger than a bull shark. When engineers design aircrafts, sometimes all they have to do is look in nature. To some people, this shark's head looks like a hammer. At certain angles, the head looks more like an airplane wing. The wing-shaped head gives the shark stability when it's swimming. You could say that this space shuttle was designed by nature millions of years ago. Look at the shape and design of the bull shark. Looks very similar to that plane. Shark tails. So here's our hammerhead tail and our bull shark tail. They look kind of similar. The great hammerhead and the bull shark are different sharks, but their tails look similar. Take a look. A shark uses its tail to propel itself forward. It steers with its tail and its side fins. Bonus fact, almost all sharks have a vertical tail, which means it goes up and down. Shark friends. Sharks and pilot fish are friends. For example, pilot fish eat parasites off the shark's skin. Pilot fish get to eat the shark's leftover food scraps and pilot fish stay safe from predators by swimming with the shark. Shark hitchhikers. Remoras are fish that hitch a ride on a shark. The remoras have a suction disc that attaches themselves to the shark. So that's what a remora looks like. Icky fact. Some, parasite, some parasitic cape pods and worms attach themselves to sharks. Things hammerhead sharks can't do. They can't parachute, they can't sing like Elvis, and they can't ride bicycles. Things bull sharks can't do. They can't yo-yo, they can't paint like Michelangelo, and they can't bake cupcakes. A giant hammerhead is cruising along. A bull shark is looking for food. Interesting fact. A hammerhead uses its wide head to detect and pin stingrays to the ocean floor. They are its favorite food. The hammerhead sees the bull shark, but it is not interested. Huge sharks are not his type of food. The hammerhead looks for something smaller and easier to eat. The bull shark feels threatened and it's not afraid to pick a fight. He swims right at the hammerhead.
The bull shark opens its mouth and tries to ram the hammerhead. The hammerhead's better eyesight allows him to turn and avoid the bull shark. The hammerhead dodges away. The bull shark is angry and darts at the hammerhead again. The hammerhead ducks. Both sharks are excellent swimmers. The bull shark attacks again, but this time bites the hammerhead's tail. The hammerhead turns to defend itself, but the bull shark catches a piece of the hammerhead's tail and rips off a chunk. Sounds like a scary fight. The hammerhead is bleeding and can't swim as fast. His blood excites the bull shark even more. At full speed, the bull shark rams the hammerhead and knocks him off balance. The bull shark bites into the hammerhead a few more times. The hammerhead is defeated. The bull shark will eat him. Other sharks in the area can smell the meal. The bull shark won today. Maybe next time these two species meet the hammerhead will recognize the danger right away. So who has the advantage checklist? Now it's your turn to decide. Between the hammerhead shark and the bull shark, their length, weight, teeth, vision, and head shape. This is what might have happened in a fight. How would you write the ending? So now it's your turn to take what you learned in this and research some more tomorrow to find out which shark you think would win between the hammerhead shark and the bull shark. Let's make it a great Monday, 4th and 5th graders.